I like compression packing cubes because I can fit more clothes in a smaller space, saving room in my pack and allowing me to travel with a smaller carry-on size backpack. Other than jackets, hat, and gloves, this is the standard set of clothes that I carry for cold weather travel. I have four sets of clothes total, one that I wear, and three that I pack into packing cubes. In the larger cube, I'll pack a pair of pants, shorts, two long sleeve button up shirts, a thermal underwear top and bottom, and two t-shirts. And in the smaller cube, I'll pack two pairs of wool socks, three underwear, and another t-shirt. There are a lot of videos online on how to fold your clothes, and if you do it right, this can definitely save you space and keep your clothes from wrinkling. The method I use is kind of a hybrid. I'll fold pants and button up shirts and then roll t-shirts and underwear. However, I'm pretty casual with it. I don't spend a lot of time trying to get the perfect Ranger Roll t-shirt. Instead, I do it quicker with a looser roll and rely on the compression of the packing cube to squish my clothes down to save space. For the pants, I do a standard half fold, fold the crotch seam in with the goal of getting them to be the same width as your packing cube. And there's three methods. You can either fold them in half several times. You can do a section fold or you can just roll them. Search the same thing, fold in half, tuck in any seams and then fold or roll. This is a cheater method that works on shirts that don't wrinkle. You fold the collar over twice, bring the arms out, shake out any wrinkles, fold the arms down, and then fold the shirt over twice. The better way to fold a collared shirt is laid down on its front, a button at least the top button, if not one or two more. Once it's laid flat, you fold one arm over and then fold it down at the seam, the other arm over, also down to the seam, aiming for the width of your packing cube. And then I just fold it up a few times, trying to aim to get the collar on the top. This shirt is merino, so it doesn't wrinkle easily, but obviously when you're doing that, as many wrinkles as you can get out of the creases when you're folding it, the less wrinkly it's gonna be when you take it out of the cube. These t-shirts are synthetic, so they're really not gonna wrinkle. I do the same method here with the rolling half roll, fold the arms over, and then I'll just roll these up. Same method for the long underwear top, fold it in half, fold the arms in, and then just roll it up. You can pack the cube depending on how easily you need to get to the stuff, or you can pack it in sections. I have the pants and shorts in the bottom, shirts in the middle, and then t-shirts and long underwear on top. And again, this method works great for me because I focus mostly on synthetics with some merino wool. These clothes are not wrinkly. I don't squish them down as much when I'm rolling them, but I'm gonna rely on the compression cube to squish these down more. This is that big pile of clothes I had on the table earlier, folded and rolled into the uncompressed packing cube. The compression is fairly straightforward. There's a zipper that runs around the entire length of the bag. You just squish it down, apply pressure, and then work the zipper around until you get it back to the beginning. And this is what that giant pile of clothes looks like in this one compression packing cube. Squished it down almost by half. This is a medium Eagle Creek Isolate packing cube with dimensions of 14 by 10 by three. I find this size works almost universally for packing in larger packs like this. Generally fits in well sideways. And then a smaller pack, it's gonna fit in good lengthways. I find these small cubes work great for socks and underwear. This is an older style of the Eagle Creek Spectre compression cube. It's 10 by seven, and it's almost identical to the current Isolate version. I don't spend a lot of time rolling socks and underwear. I want them to be organized in my packing cube, but I don't really care if they wrinkle. I usually start by rolling up all the underwear. I do a little fold on the socks and then stuff them into the side of the cube. And if you want, this is a great place to pack an extra t-shirt to wear to bed. Same concept here, you just squish the pack down a little bit and work the zipper around until you get back to the beginning. And this is everything that I had on the table there, all packed into these two packing cubes. 
And again, just to show you that giant pile of clothes that I had in the beginning, doesn't look anywhere near size that you could fit into these compression cubes. Huge space saver. It's worth noting these cubes have a max capacity. They're very durable. I've had this Spectre set for at least three years, this Isolate set for maybe six months. I've never had an issue with broken zippers or split seams. However, I know how much these cubes can hold and I don't overpack them. If you jam too many clothes in here, it's gonna be really hard to get this zipper shut and you're gonna be putting a ton of pressure on these seams. That's all I have to say about compression packing cubes. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below and I'd love to hear any tips that you have, how you pack, what you think about compression packing cubes. And again, thanks for watching.